on Murphy. Kick us off, please. This line works. Yeah. All right, Sean Murphy here, Bantam Shot Media. How Saudi Arabia treating you? Treating me? Yes, sir. Oh, Saudi Arabia is great. Couldn't ask for nothing more. Awesome. From from tree cutting to now, what's your take on the fight coming up? Is this the biggest fight you ever had? And what's the next step afterwards? Yes, this is the biggest fight I ever have in my career right now. And um this guy's big too, so one of the biggest guys I'm ever gonna have to fight. So it's like a, a big tree job. I'm gonna definitely have to bring all my tools to make it easy. Climb that tree, get those spikes on, and have a great fight. Sean Murphy here. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Fight. Jason, on the last media call, you had talked about how Amosov was living rent-free in your head. I asked you if Ray Cooper was doing that. You said it was an Airbnb. So now here on Fight Week, has he paid his Airbnb rent, first and foremost? Absolutely not, because he still have to get on that scale and make weight. And once he make weight, you know I'm going to get what's mine. You have paid him a lot of respect coming into this fight. It's a two-part question here, and it's my last question. Why do you give Ray Cooper so much respect coming into this fight? Obviously, he has a great uh, history inside the PFL cage. And what does that do knowing uh, how dangerous he is and the respect you're giving him coming into this fight? Well, Ray Cooper is the face of PFL. So if I don't give him the respect he earned, you know, I, I don't want to overlook such a dangerous opponent. And once I give him all that respect, once I knock him off, where that goes? It's all come to me. Jason, you're fighting with your friend Impa on the card. Impa does fight after you, right? I'm wondering, are you more nervous about your fight or his fight? <laughs> I'm more nervous about his fight because... It's just naturally for a fighter not to worry about their fight. But whenever it's a friend or somebody that they care about, they always get nervous. So even if I was fighting or not, I would just, I'm always nervous for my friends them whenever they fight. I don't know why. It's just something that I can't control. Awesome. Thank you, my man. And one more question from me, Bob Marley. What's your favorite track of his? Um, Not to dread right again. Awesome. Thank you. Hey, Jason. Good to talk to you again, man. Uh, can you, this is your first time fighting out of the United States. Can you talk to me a little bit about the Riyadh season and how the experience has been out there? Well, definitely. Um, I'm having a blast, you know, fighting outside the United States. And um, the Saudis, they, they're, they're um, treating me really good. And I just can't wait till when I do what I train hard for, which is go out there and put on a show and see what the reward is. I'm hoping that, you know, I get a little Rolex watch or or something, you know what I'm saying, from these guys once I put my performance on because I'm going to put my hands on this guy. Yeah, and last one for me, man. You just uh, always are staying smooth and relaxed, just have a great personality. Can you, can you just talk a little bit about your mindset going into it and how you flip that switch when you get into the cage? Yeah, I, I think this personality came from just, you know, watching WWE all my life, you know, that, you know, that you have to entertain the crowd. And once it's time come time for the curtains to, to open up and flip that switch, it just come naturally. You know, it's a different alter ego side of me is the ass kicking machine comes out. But right now you're looking at Jason Jackson, Jason Jackson, is just a silly guy that just like to have fun. But when the ass, kick, ass kicking machine take over, it's another story. Great. Thanks champ. What's up, Jason Jackson? How you doing, man? I'm doing great, my man. How about yourself? Doing good, man. Hey, listen, it's another fight week. It's another great fit to go with it. How important is it for you to be such a great representative of Jamaica? It's very important. You know, um, my pride and ego and everything is on the line. And, you know, I don't want to let my people down or my family that's at home watching. My teammate, my coaches, my manager, you know, um, I don't want to let nobody down. I don't even want to let myself down first and foremost. So, you know, 
I'm going to do my best. Nothing less, nothing more. Just my best. Awesome, man. And last fight, obviously, you got the job done via big knockout. Uh, that was your first knockout victory since 2018, and I'm hearing you talk a lot about throwing your hands this fight. What's the confidence like with your hands now after that after that big victory? Well, I always had confidence in my hand, but it's just the opponents them that was given to me in Bellator. They threw all their big dogs at me, so I just had to secure the bag and win. That's all I was focused on. But now, as I made it to this guy, Yaroslav, that was a champion, I knew I could have just took took in that straight jacket off and just let my hands go. And that's all it was that night, you know. And come Saturday night, you're going to see a different side of Jason Jackson because they always talk about and focus on Ray Cooper, a hardy punch. But I think they're forgetting that Jason Jackson got some power in his hands too and some speed. So we'll see you on Saturday night. Thank you, man. Hey there, Jason. How's it going? It's going well. Oh, it's good to hear, man. I guess my first question was related to some stylistic similarities in a certain sense between Robbie Lawler and Ray Cooper the third. And obviously Robbie's been such a key, you know, part of your journey in a certain sense. Like, I mean, he's always beneficial, but how beneficial is he in this camp, just in the sense that he has that similar like anti wrestling and strong striking base and everything? That's that's funny that you say that because, you know, my last week of camp, I was working on Robbie and I ended up having him come out of retirement to give me some rounds because <laughs> I was like, I was like, I don't know, for some reason, it would be a dream fight for me to see him and Ray Cooper the third fight when Ray Cooper was in his prime, which prime of his MMA career and Robbie in his prime when he had his hair. So both guys, when they had their hair, it would have been a dream fight for me. No, hey, I hear you, man. That's a good one. But another follow-up. I feel like I'd be remiss if I didn't get more details on it. You were talking about being a WWE fan growing up. Did you have any favorites or anything back then? Absolutely. My favorite was The Rock. And um, Undertaker, Kurt Angle, but The Rock mainly, you know, the most electrifying man in sports entertainment. No, that's a good one, man. Thank you for the insights. And, yeah, looking forward to checking out the fight. Thank you. Thank you. Andrew. Hello, Jason. Uh, this is Andrew of MMA Soccer. How you doing? How you doing, man? Doing well, doing well. Uh, two questions from me. Uh, one uh, is, would you like to have that match with Magomed, Mag Magomed Karamov sometime down the line? Uh, and two, uh, speaking of Bob Marley, any plans to see One Love in theaters? Well, I saw it. I saw it in, in theater. Um, I was a little bit disappointed that, you know, it didn't cover much ground, but it's good for the new generation who haven't yet introduced to reggae and the culture, you know, to get their, their feet wet. But I've been a fan, and he's been my idol, so there's so much more they could have at least done in that movie. But, you know, I'm thankful that there's there's a movie out there for him. And also, would you uh, like to face uh, Magomed, Magomed Karamov down the line uh, since the fight got canceled initially? Absolutely. I, I want to face the best that PFL have to offer. There's no no in Jason Jackson. There's no quit in me, my brother, like my idol Hulk Hogan said. <laughs> Thank you very much. Best of luck. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Jason. I appreciate you. Oh, that was quick. Thank you. 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 Thank you.